Do you have a moody appetite like me? For instance, Thursday, I feel like eating fried chicken, and since it's Sunday, I want barbecue chicken. Or sometimes you just have a problem finding food wherever you live at. Like for me, in New York City or wherever I'm traveling, sometimes deciding on where to eat is very, very difficult. And sometimes you just can't get in contact with that friend of yours, the foodie friend who knows all the good spots to eat. Guess what? Problem solved. The infatuation is now that friend. The infatuation helps you find the right restaurant for any situation. Need a spot for the first date? The infatuation. Trying to find a spot for your birthday where you kind of want to celebrate, but you kind of really don't? The infatuation. Or you want just a little key spot for you to just chill and relax. The infatuation. The infatuation has you covered in all these situations and many, many, many more. So if you ever need to find a place to eat, but don't want to read through thousands of unreliable crowdsource reviews, hit up theinfatuation.com or download their free app on iOS and Android to search the thousands of restaurants, reviews, and guides in 22 cities around the world. Or let the infatuation do the job for you by sending a text to 64 Five six zero, a person will always be there to respond. Right there in a hurry, the infatuation, theinfatuation dot com. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Real quick, look, we are almost there. It was just two episodes or three episodes ago. Well, I was just announcing that we got over five hundred listens. Well, it's we're almost at that 1,000 mark already. We set a goal for 1,500 and we're already th- almost there. We are past the halfway mark. We are literally a few listens away from the 1,000 mark. I just wanted to say thank you. Keep listening. Keep uh, just sticking with me. If you can, please donate. If you can't, don't worry about it. But I just wanted to tell y'all thank you because we're almost at 1K and there's more to come. So I hope you enjoy this uh, episode of I'm Just Saying Podcast. Uh, Of course, you guys know there's going to be a quick commercial. Got to get that ad money. I got to get that ad money. And right after the quick commercial, bam, we right back in it. Peace. Hey. Ever wanted just to freely express yourself? You ever wanted to do it with no holds barred, not having to worry about censoring yourself? Or what if you have an anxiety and just want to express your feelings? Or you just want to start a podcast, but you just don't know how. How am I going to do the editing? How am I going to integrate the background music? What programs or apps should I use? Or even how can I get my podcast? on major platforms like Apple Music and Spotify? Well, the answer is easy. It's called the Anchor app. The Anchor app lets you host, distribute, and monetize your own podcast. That's right. That's host, record, and distribute your podcast all in one place. And that's not the cherry on top. The cherry on top is all for free, 100% free. Now, if you have an interest, want to start your own podcast, come join us at Anchor at anchor.fm slash start. Come today, start your podcast, and continue free expressions whenever you feel like it. Remember, that's anchor.fm slash start hope to see you That's hey what's going on everybody it's your boy enemy aka tda the devil's advocate and i'm back with another quick episode of i'm just saying the podcast and this time we're talking smack volume four the predictions and everything that happened smack volume four went down last night i got a couple of people on the line with me today of course a reoccurring person coming up here, man. We got my man out of Chirac, MVP. What's good? Salute, 
double salute to the devil's advocate. Thanks for having me up, big. No problem, no problem. And we got Jigga, and the problem with Jigga is I forgot where Jigga's from. So Jigga's gonna have to announce that himself. Hey, that's, <laughs> hey, I'm from Florida, man. Shout out to the devil's advocate having me on, man. Salute, salute. Man, that's a fact. That's a fact. So, uh, first and foremost, man, what do y'all fellas think of uh, Smack Volume 4 as an, as an event in the whole? Uh, me personally, I feel like Smack Volume 4, I don't blame Smack in them, but I think it was kind of a lackluster event total. I think a few battles and few battlers could have been. But we'll get into it in more detail. That's a fact. That's a fact. Uh, me personally, I liked it. I like I I liked it. I thought I ain't gonna love Hala low key. I came in this motherfucker thinking I was gonna hate this shit, but it ended up more better than what I uh, thought it was originally gonna be. What about you, Jig? Facts. I only saw half the card, so I'm gonna have to go back on the VOD and catch it on the watch. But from what I seen, I saw the second half of the card, and I was I liked all the battles I saw. And for those listening, whenever you guys decide, you know, whenever you get this, you know. If you want to watch the battles, I've been trying to get it out ASAP, but if you guys want to watch the battles, please go to WatchBattleLive.com. WatchBattleLive.com. Go on to Smack URL, and this event was Smack Volume 4. And I'm going to start off with the first battle of the night. Chef Trez versus Danny Myers, man. What are we doing? What are we doing? Uh, This one of the battles I see, um, and I could personally see why USA TV or some people thought the event was better than what they thought, because I see most people thought all these battles going to be ass, apparently. But Danny Myers and Chef Trey is the reason I thought the battle event was like Lester, not both of them in particular, but I'm good on Danny Myers. He probably debatably won the battle, but we could get him the fuck off URL. I never want to see him there again. Oh, my God. Chef Trez could get another plate. Oh, my God. Never again? Never again. Not in his 50 year lifetime, he'll be 50 next week. Jesus, 50 that's crazy, man. That's that's crazy. I don't, I don't yeah, know 50. Man. I might not want to see that nigga rap again. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so you you good on Danny Myers too? TV, so uh, no, 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 no. Well, shit, after the 50 joint, nigga, he might be needing to look for retirement. <laughs> <laughs> known, oh, opponent, but, nah, I, I think Danny's cool, he, he's okay. We, we need people like him in the URL. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I definitely think he lost this battle clearly 2-1. Like, he lost this. Right, let me let me fix what I'm saying. Y'all not, not feeling where I'm coming from. Pause. I'm a disgruntled fan right now, bro. I see this nigga Danny Myers on leagues with 69 the subscribers. Give me some of the best material I heard in my That's life. That's a fact. Then you come to URL versus Chef Trez versus Steams versus DNA. And you give me the worst shit I ever heard in my life. Like, bro, I don't want to see you on URL if this is the Danny Myers of URL. Keep your ass on them 60 subscriber leads and give me your great material over there. What about you, man? Hey. How you feeling about Danny in Florida? Uh, uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm with MVP, man. We was punching on Danny before the show, and I agree with him. It's like, look at his battles on URL. And he's not giving you the quarterballs. Every single Danny Myers quarterball that you can give me off the top of your head is not on URL. And that's my problem. I thought Danny was doing good this battle. I missed the battle. But what I'm hearing is they're not people's not happy with Danny's performance. And nah. the people, you gotta give the people what they want. And Danny's not doing it on on the URL stage. So like MVP said, if you finna give me the space time continuums and bars mm. like that on the other yeah. leagues. Stay on those other leagues and give me that material because that's the material I want from Danny. Low Thanks. key, I said this a few years ago that Danny should stay on King of the Dot. Niggas thought I was crazy, but think about it. If he would have stood over there, he would be the champ right now. I'm just saying. I'm People just would saying. fuck around. <laughs> hey, now that, now that you say that, bro, Danny could probably be on Mount Rushmore talks if he was on King of the Dot because I feel like with that angle you said, he would have been able to get bigger plates and more solidified being over there, even though if it ain't all like the surfs and hitmans, he not getting them anyway, obviously, but he could have battled more King of the Dot Legends on higher platforms. That's a fact. That's a fact. Moving right along, I'm trying to go in the same order that they went. Um, I believe the next battle after this was T-Top versus Clean. Oh, my God. <laughs> so tell me what happened, because I missed this Bruh. one too, Tell me about what this. happened is T-Top 
You know what I'm saying? What he did is he put the leash, you know what I'm saying? He put the leash around clean neck. And then, you know what I'm saying? He, he, he began to, you know, go down the little trail that, you know, clean likes to walk. And he dog walked his ass. This bad. That's what happened. Hey. He got a dog walk. Shout uh, out, dog shout, walk? Out, shout out to the living dead. That nigga QP is where Rich Dollars, where Saga, and where Prep at. That is oh, a, that's that what we doing? T top oh, is fucking sir. so flying, bro. The first round was so dark, bro. And y'all know, like I said, Chirac nigga stand up Midwest. I want that was that battle. I wouldn't even bet my socks on it because I thought T top was going in. But I wanted clean to win that battle, and he lost badly. No debate uh, to talk about. Yeah, he lost yeah. that battle badly, man. I, I ain't gonna hold so you. It was a it was a thirty, like thirty bad to Body one. Of the night. To one? Listen, Body the of only, the night. The only thing that's debatable of that battle is if it's a thirty or if it's a two one. Oh, I'm not it as a thirty. So we good we on clean. One moment. We had one moment, but even in that, matter, nah, no, I'm not being nice. We're not being yeah, honest. No ATV, no how no fuck that. No how he, oh, he, he got 30 badly. He got 30 badly. Real so we badly. good on clean. We good on clean. Hey, let me tell you how good we are. The, you know OG Blue from Detroit? He's saying that the city is his. That's how good we all are. <laughs> Damn. Shout, Shout out, out to Blue, though. Shout out to Blue. Oh, that's crazy. We uh, good. All right. So we good on clean. Yeah, we, we good, good on, on Danny, too. All right. After oh. that, I believe the next battle was the Twerk and Clips one, right? Yeah. Oh, no, it was no, O-Red and John John. O-Red John John. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. Now, now this is where shit get interesting yeah. because... I got John John winning that battle two one, but it's the oh beat. you do okay so oh, I mean yeah. you the first person you hey, the first whoever I heard that say John John won the battle. All my real niggas listening, don't y'all know when y'all got a smoke break or a battle you fall asleep on? This happened to be that one for me, my real nigga. Oh shit! But with oh, TV, shit. but with TV analysis though, because I did catch the first round. There's no TV on this show. I'm Henry or the Devil's Advocate. TV nah, you. You TV for this analysis. You the devil advocate every other time. I called you the devil advocate, brother. But TV analysis, because he had to be watching on a three-inch TV. He talking about John John won the first round. And I don't see where he saw that at, so he couldn't have saw that clearly. I saw but, that very clear, and I was very, very entertained by the angle that he took and the approach that he took during this battle. I was entertained. I mean, I don't. You were entertained by some things. I'm not entertained by them, brother. I'm not trying to watch this man get dressed and undressed during his rounds. That shit was ass. John John was doing a lot. To make things clear, because you know fans, you, they they hear one thing and run with it, and we only know battle oh, yeah, yeah. Clear scenario. That up. Clear, that up. clear that up. Clear that up. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean by getting dressed and undresses? The nigga had clothes on. He was just taking a particular wardrobe accessory, like a robe off, and he was adding other shit like shoes and his motherfucking tie. But he had clothes on. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he never got undressed at no point. Yeah, he, he never got undressed at no point for anybody who was trying to even think that way. Yeah, because y'all, y'all know how y'all get out there. I mean, y'all niggas is crazy. Yeah, <laughs> but it sounds... Hey, t- I want to hey, hey, hey. niggas got red 2-1. I wouldn't mean, I mean, be mad at all. If, if you gave red at the third though, I think I have red two one. I, I like I said, I gotta go back because I missed the second and third personally, but I did have red in the first. Oh, so you really took a smoke break during this battle? Yeah, I was smoking during it and fell asleep, so I took both a oh, nap shit. and a smoke Jesus. break. Jesus. A nap and a smoke break. <laughs> okay, the next battle we had after that. Now here we go. Now, now this was the uh, clips and twerk, correct? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. get to this one. Clips versus... Oh, yeah. Listen, man. Listen. I ain't gonna hold y'all. I had Clips losing this battle before it started. And before when it started, it you was talking spicy in them chats, nigga. Oh, boy, was I wrong, boy. Boy, was I fucking wrong. This nigga Clips... That second round, bro. That's he kicked... Round. Hey, for all y'all niggas that um, love to hate on Clips and his Kit Kat bar style that y'all love from Hollow... This has got to be the one B to that. The way Kylo broke Clips down in their first round, Clips destroyed motherfucking um, New Jersey twerk in their second round with the same breakdown. 
He took all that man powers away from the bow to the hoodie to the hairline. All that exactly. shit. Exactly. Guess what room I'm in? The barber the shop. The barber shop. Ah. He told that man hairline. He had the world from him. <laughs> you on America's most wanted, brother. <laughs> <laughs> the hairline is wanted for and that. That bow, that bow, yo. You you can tell it, it affected Twerk because he the the bows just ain't had that much power in that second round. Yeah, but not to take away from Twerk complete because we skipped over. If you was watching the battle and you was in the chat, it looked like Twerk was going to win the battle. Oh, yeah. I ain't going to hold it. Because that first round. Clip's second round was so good that we we glossed over. Nitty fucked Clip's up in that first round. I mean, Nitty. Twerk fucked Clip's up in that first round. Twerk fucked Clip's up in that first round. I ain't going to psych a lot in the cat. Oh, my God. Oh, Oh, my God. When you in the casket. Oh, my God. That was oh, the difference. What? what? Twerk would have had if Twerk's Garou second Garou round would have been like his first. Bomb. That's a fact. If his second round would have been like his first, the battle would have been over. Even with Clip's second round, though. No, no, no. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I think so. The way Twerk was with that energy. I think. I think his second was his first. It's just that Clips round defected his second. You think like, so? I personally don't like, I don't think the, the material, yes, bro, the material in Twerk second wasn't bad or ass material. It's the fact that once he, like, Clips broke down the breaking, his, like, raising his voice down and everything. So every time he got loud or made a bow, instead of the crowd going crazy with him, it looked like it airballed. Like, to me, that was the only difference. I feel like, I feel like Twerk... <laughs> Twerk let it affect him, <laughs> and so yeah. That nigga, that nigga said one eight hundred eight seven seven cash. Wow, I need my money. Oh my god! Oh my god! That shit, that shit was fire, bro. Yeah, but that shit clips, hit clips clips, bro. kicked his ass that second. Like that, that it was did, bro. Bad. You could see it, bro. It hit him. He ain't, he ain't performed the same after that. Like yeah, Tori started ready to stumble and all that shit. You could exactly, see in his face he was bro. go choke. Like That's damn, why I was like I was like damn. If you would have just performed like if you would have performed like you normally do, you know what I'm saying? You grabbing this shit. You what? You moving around? You yelling? You you loud? But he ain't he ain't feel like that shit was gonna be effective after clips broke him down. Yeah, that got that's to him, bro. One, look at his face during them reactions, bro. Yeah, during a couple of them clips, bro. Look bro. at his face. Look at his face. Twerk was like, Facts. ah, Facts. that shit was hitting Twerk, man. That shit, you can that tell. Shit was crazy, man. Twerk that shit. a fan too. Yo, the low key, I day. ain't gonna hold you. When I heard clips second round, I, I kind of went back to the, the, the Twerks. First and, and and maybe took a couple of points off for a few of those bows that I heard in the Yeah, that's a thought. <laughs> so, <laughs> the bows was not looked at the same. You just was it was not. It was not. But uh Fire. moving right along, right after that fire battle, we had a shotgun shug versus Romney. Fire, 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 fire. Salute to both these niggas for putting on. Salute my man. New Jersey twerk for writing them bars for for shotgun. Me me first. Oh, oh that's what we're doing. The car got better. I mean, this come on. Now. When the last time you ever heard Shug write like that, or bars like that, you know what I mean? Structured no, like that. Man, Shug, no, nah, we can't do that with Shug, man. Shug had this a couple of movie references, a couple flips, nitty flips. So that's it wasn't yeah, no. Yeah, that's what he told Twerk. He told Twerk, "Hey, make sure you throw some movie references in my boss." <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> yes, nah, I'm not going to let you get that off. Shug Stop playing with the baby look. look like that. Shug, <laughs> yeah, look. Shug knew. Shug knew he had to punch more because if Shug just came with the regular old loud shit. Nitty would have punched him out. Nitty would have punched the off. fuck off. <laughs> his face, his face would have got punched off. Like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, uh, hey, see, you know what I'm doing, that was one of them fights where you know a nigga finna knock your ass out. So you say instead of me trying to throw haymakers with him, I'm gonna just get all my punches in swiftly. So while Facts. he throwing his hooks, rocking me, at least I got about sixteen jabs in. That <laughs> look it Is looked like I was doing night? something back. <laughs> this Man, is the battle of the night for niggas. It's, it's my battle of the night, Loki. Yeah, battle of the night for me. Yeah. I mean, uh, I don't, I don't know, cause I'm still a little offset with the fake ass dunk contest they wanted to have in a battle. Like they could have do that shit on YouTube somewhere else. Like 
Even though know that nitty, that that nitty and, and, and um, what's this nigga name? Tort. Nah, that nitty and uh, uh fucking Gigi. That 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 alley oop shit was crazy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, shit was crazy. That, that was crazy. That shit was fire. I was like, whoa. And he low key, get you move, move, Shug a little bit. <laughs> like a move, Shug big ass over a little bit with that, that slam dunk. Yeah, Shug, Shug took a couple side steps. You know, yeah, like he, he stepped over. Yes, you definitely. Know. Shout out to the short niggas, man. Shug, I'm a little that nigga he myself. Me. Shit, but I got, I got nitty thirty. Oh yeah, Diddy thirty, Diddy. It's a, it's a, it's an edge thirty. It's an edge thirty. Yeah, he edged every. Well, shit, some of them miles. Yeah, clear. that was a clear thirty. Uh, <laughs> nah, it was a, it was a no. It, let me take it. It was a clear two one. It's a debatable thirty, but it was, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, you can say that clear two one definitely a debatable thirty, but. Then nigga Nitty was spazzing, bro. This nigga like nitty. yeah, cause Jigga, don't you know when it's some sometimes in the edge situation it could go both ways. Like some people say, well, I had Nitty Edge and Solomon, I but I had Solomon Edge and Nitty. With this one, there is no Edge and Shug. Like nah, Nitty won. I I feel like the only <laughs> round I can Edge Shug is the first. That's the closest round to me. Is that first? Yeah, I I could see that. I could definitely see that happening. For those, you know, who be trying to comment in when niggas leave comments out in the comment section, no, uh, you won't be getting me to recite hella bars from the battle. Because first of all, everybody know when you watch the live pay-per-view, nigga, it's hard to remember the bars. Unless it's yeah, awesome. That unless that shit stick to your ribs. And, you know, I have to watch this shit again in order to give y'all some bars. Or you can just watch it yourself by watchbattlelive.com and get it yourself. You know what I mean? Same. And shout out to the other people who want to salute Black Compass. You can definitely join the Discord. Niggas do group sessions and there. It's ways to watch the battles, brothers. Y'all yeah, got to expand. Network. Definitely. Definitely. Got definitely. a network. Got a network. Shout out to my dark web, niggas. That's a fact. <laughs> Finally, last but not least, the battle that I had as my battle of the night. Arsenal versus Gucci Gatti. What do we I'll know? The rebel. This was my initial battle of the night, but I had to go with Sugar Nitty. I had to go with Sugar Nitty after I just seen how they was. They was getting all physical. I'm not saying they wasn't getting physical in this battle, but I feel like this battle was going to be a little bit better than I anticipated. You know what I'm saying? I had a little bit higher expectations than what I got. Not saying it was a bad battle, but I just thought it was going to be like a classic, and and it was just a good battle. I kind of agree with Jig on that part, Devil's Advocate, because for me personally, I kind of had um, I had Nitty washing Suge. Like, Suge made they battle battle of the night to me because of Suge's performance. And it's like he came and fought back with it. And I feel like Suge on that card could have beat a couple of other performances or had, like, a, a good battle with a few other performances. Geechee and Arsenal, on the other hand, I did. I had Arsenal winning the battle, but I did expect a lot more from that battle than I got from it. And Nitty lived up to his expectations to me and they battle as well. So, so I had Nitty and Shug, but this still was a dope battle. I ain't gonna hold you. I feel this battle that uh, I feel that uh, Gucci got him out of ran out of friends to talk about. I ain't really hear about a lot of friends in this battle. Like I ain't hear about his homies. I mean, I heard about a couple of them, but usually we get like nineteen homies within the three. <laughs> <laughs> he got it. I ain't hear about you know none of them really, so it seemed like he had other people to talk about. And honestly, I don't even have a winner. I gotta watch this again. I do oh. too, but I had I had ours too when I first watch. Man, I, I'm you ever watch a battle and don't remember like really nothing really from it? But I only remember ours telling him suck my dick in the beginning of every round. Other no, than he that, didn't. He didn't. I could I could tell you that, but I agree with your TV. I'll, I'll first watch if I really had to pick, like put a gun to my head, I'll edge ours. But I gotta go back and watch it. Yeah, that's a f- yeah. I gotta fact. go back and watch. This battle was the battle I was low key not yawning because it wasn't exciting, but I was I was getting a little tired. Like and then and then what fucked me up is you know the, the disclaimer, the fucking low power out of shit. Because mm, I ain't gonna help. hold you. I, I I went through the dark web, you know, went went through a watch party. So I thought, you know, what I'm saying when you know, since I got the scooter leg, I thought that was a, you know what comes you know went along with it. Oh shit, I you know when you buy a bootleg DVD, you know when you get to the end, it might have cut off. <laughs> Before time. 
That's what yeah. I thought it was. But then when I checked the chat and I saw everybody, I saw a whole bunch of what the fucks. I'm like, oh shit, they're going crazy. And they couldn't even really get it back for a good 10 minutes. But I'm glad they got it back as quick as they could. Because I was one of them other brothers who ordered that other pay per view that didn't start until six hours later. So I yeah. really got that shit together quick. But I'm going to that low life thug, Jack Boy Ming, for hitting the switch on my. <laughs> you know, Tech going to that shit. You know, they can Tech going to go. <laughs> Man, I got some pussy to go get. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man, I, I feel like it was a it was a dope event. Um, are we looking forward to the next volume? It depends on who's on the uh, card. I disagree. I'm card. not looking forward to the next volume. I, I can um, agree with you. I'm not looking forward. I, I think it's time to space it what? out. Oh, hey, Jigger, hey, Jigger, hey, Jigger, You, you Jigga, got three Jigga. and four back to back, bro. It's time to space it out. That's a All fact. Right. And the fact that they started, that, that's why I said I'm good on it. The fact that they threw three or four so close and it's more to look like a, a band, not even band, it looks like more in Legacy now, bro. Like all the crowd reaction and all the extra answers yeah, it's going more on like a than Legacy than a, than yeah. a like it's not like volume one anymore to me. And unless we go get close, if not volume one, as close to volume one as possible, I'm completely done on the volumes because what volumes was presented to us as is the you old school. Like, yeah, I'm you want the screw face in there. You want the mmms, the oohs. You don't want to, ah, I'm strapped in. Get that nigga twerk. Ah, like, you know what the first volume had that the all of other didn't have that everybody else does? First volume had maybe 20 people in there, but it definitely wasn't no battle rapper crew member over there waiting for him you know saying these niggas now you ain't bring their whole crew with them. Yeah, I think that's what it is. And that's what it takes away from the volume. So that's that's what I think the problem is more than they doing too many. I feel like, OK, maybe they don't have to do like three or four a year. I mean, if they give us three next year and they all good cards, we're not going to be saying nothing. I feel like it's because of the difference from the first volume to the second to the third and the fourth and the amount of crowd reaction that increases and the volumes make us not want to see it. Hey, I agree with you, bro. The first time, we won't be saying nothing, I promise Hey, that's my point, bro. If they were doing it, we wouldn't be saying nothing. But since they not doing it, I'm saying something. And this shit is ass what they doing. This shit is ass. ass y'all want, ass, y'all want, so what we finna do now? Y'all only want like two volumes a year? No, no, no. The reason I'm no, saying I want better dinner, volumes. Honestly speaking, the reason I'm saying that is because look, look look at the next event. Damn Legacy. And then you're going to try to hit us with what? Then after, come on, there's too, there's too much of it. What, what? So y'all need doing something like this and no on the big day? That's what you're telling me? That's the only no, they, of course they finna do Summer Madness and I'm on a big stage, but they finna give you that once a year. That's why it's only one Summer Madness and one Gnome. Like, when they did two Summer Madnesses in one year, they wasn't that good. So That's not, they, no, 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 hold on. They, no, that ain't what he was. Because they had to play catch-up. They owned us They one. had to play catch-up, okay, but now... We've seen what happened then, so we don't want them to give us two summer madnesses in a year. No, we not that it's two summer madnesses. They give us bigger <laughs> cards, though, like Armageddon and like these other type of this situation. It's like it be oh. mid stage cards and bigger cards. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, when's the last time you've been back at Urban Plaza? Mm. You've been mad yet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm saying. Wait a minute, though. Hold on. Let, let's, not, let's not jump the gun. I'm going to punch for URL real quick. There was on the road this year that just passed. They haven't been back in New York in a minute. So let's let, let, let let's give them some time and let's see what they do this year before we push on them. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. I'm not saying because, uh, as, as, far as, as, as far as we know, Lux and Verb is in Houston, not in New York. You're saying. Yeah, but that's only that's one card for next year. That's one. So y'all got one right now. Y'all got one for this Man, year. So I got one. All volume four was not in New York. But that that was in December though. Well, Ben no, Legacy coming up. Man. It was today. Oh, that was that was yesterday. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. It was in Orlando. So, but the volumes is never. The PG card is in New York. Don't count though. The volumes don't count because they never in New York. And uh, uh, y'all ready for that next B- PG card that's in March? Yeah, what's that at? Uh, Denver. And, oh, so they still on the road there. So we gotta wait till URL stop the road trip. Yeah, how do we not know? 
how do how do we not know that URL is not doing this to make New York miss them? So when the first time they get back to New York, that's just crazy automatic. How do you know that the first car that's in New York is not finna be at Irving Plaza? It gotta be. Why you think they on the road so much doing all these numbers? I feel like uh, that's what a, I, it has nothing to do with them in the New York missing them. I'm gonna tell you the truth. Uh, they you don't really, think so? They, they, nah, the reason they're not here is because besides Irving Plaza, there's really no uh, other places in the city that's fucking with them because of that Kanye issue at the Webster Hall. I don't know if y'all remember too long ago, but Kanye had a car. Yeah, I remember. It was shut remember. down. It was shut down. It was people yeah. all outside. Now, now New York City clubs don't want to mess with hip-hop. Not battle rap, hip-hop as a whole. So That's a fact. That's a fact. You know, we got that hit. But uh, I'm about to get up out of here, man. I appreciate you guys coming up on the platform and uh, chopping it up with me to talk about this. Uh, you guys have an open invitation. If you want, you can shout out your, you know, Facebooks and all that. I know MVP, he don't do none of that shit, but Jigga, if you want, <laughs> you can shout out your Twitter and shit if you want. Oh, no, nah, I don't even got no social media. I got to get on that, though, but salute to the black this. But uh, y'all know what you mean, at T the over. vocalist on every platform, at T the vocalist. And, uh, yeah, man, we lit. We got you, man. Hey, salute. Man. Thanks for having me up, salute, TV. Salute. Salute. Yo, you know, now I got to figure this shit out on my phone to get this shit to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know, hey, what's cra- you know what's crazy, MVP? The, the, you know this little session right here, like when I was trying to get this shit to stop? When we last yeah. recorded? I left that part in there. I forgot to take it out. <laughs> oh, so all that was still up? <laughs> all that is still up. Hey, thanks for listening in, man. I just wanted to thank you guys one more time for tuning into my podcast. I truly appreciate it. I also wanted to take this time to give you guys my social. You know, at TV The Vocalist on Instagram, at TV The Vocalist on Twitter, at I'm Just Saying Pod at gmail.com. That's the email. And I just wanted to say, you know, if you guys can please. I'm I'm accepting donations now, so if you guys want to donate, I mean, one penny to one million, I'll take it. But uh, I just had to sneak this outro in there. For now on, there will be an intro and an outro, just so I can sneak in the time slots. Of course, for the ads, I got to get that money, people. I got to get that money. So, I mean, if you want lesser ads, donate. But if not, then I'm going to have to get my money how I get it. You feel me? And, uh... <laughs> That's by any means. But anyway, thanks for listening to the show. Hope to see you. I mean, hope to hear from you in the comment section. Uh, If not, listen now for the next episode. It's coming real soon. Peace.